Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Lee and I'm the author of a few novels for young adults, the most recent being the cozy contemporary fantasy Song of the Dryad. Now it's been a hot minute since I filmed anything, so even sitting here and talking to the camera feels a little bit strange today, um, but I'm hoping to get some editing done this weekend. I'm still working on editing Pistol Daisy book one. I'm on like the fourth or fifth draft at this point, and the plan, I'm hoping, is that when I'm, dead, when I'm done editing this draft of Pistol Daisy Book One, it'll be totally done and uh, ready for publication. Um, so what have I been up to? I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys at all the past couple weeks. I've been pretty darn busy with uh, my job, with the publishing company, and also with copy editing. I just finished a full manuscript copy edit yesterday on Friday, August 16th, and I have another full copy edit that I've kind of been working on on the side as well, but now starting on Monday, I get to fully commit myself to that copy edit since my previous one is all finished and wrapped up. So um, in terms of like my schedule and what I've been doing, I have been working Monday through Friday like eight to five usually um, for the publishing company and then also for copy editing. And then in the evenings, I try to rest, relax, play video games, just hang out. Um, this weekend, Greg and I have a lot of pet sitting. We already did two visits this morning and there are seven more visits today. So I think Greg and I will be kind of taking turns and switching off to do all those visits because otherwise, we're just like, we go and do a pet visit and then we come home for an hour or two hours and then we have to go out and do it again. So it's pretty constant throughout the day. So I was hoping to kind of have a weekend off to just edit Pistol Daisy and hang out, stay in my pajamas, but that's not happening because we're crazy busy with pet care. So I'm going to try to film this editing vlog this weekend. If you're seeing this, then I probably achieved that or I did a somewhat decent job, decent enough to actually post. Um, so let me pull up my Pistol Daisy manuscript and I'll let you know where I'm at with that because I don't even remember. Okay, so I am on chapter 12 out of 18 chapters. So I have seven chapters left to edit. And my hope is that I can finish this edit in August. And this has been a long time coming. I started this in, when did I start doing this edit? July, I want to say. Um, so it has been about a month and a half and the editing itself doesn't take me very long. I did have to rewrite chapters four and five. So that took me a bit of time. But other than that, the actual editing moves pretty quick because this book is already super clean and I'm just going back through it, trying to make sure that this book is the best I can make it with the skills I have right now. Um, so even though the editing has been going quickly, I just have not had the ability really to sit down and be working on it. And I could certainly be really pushing myself, you know, working really hard in the evenings and the early mornings, spending my entire weekends working on this project. And that's kind of what I did for Song of the Dryad. Like I pretty much ran myself into the ground with Song of the Dryad and pet sitting and everything else I was doing for like the past two years but I'm trying to have more balance in my life this year. And it's been really nice. Like I can honestly say that my stress levels are pretty damn low. My anxiety is better than it has been in many, many years. So whatever I'm doing, it's definitely working. Um, so my hope is to finish this fourth draft of Pistol Daisy this month in August, so that in September and October, I can work on editing book two. And then in November for NaNoWriMo, I can write book three. So that's kind of um, my very loose plan for the rest of the year, I guess. I don't know what I'll be doing in December, but as far as August, September, October, and November, I do have that basic plan. So I'm going to get to work on chapter 12. And uh, I guess I will just be checking in with you guys throughout the day. It'd be sweet if I could get at least two chapters edited this weekend, like one today and one tomorrow. Tomorrow is much quieter in terms of pet sitting. I think Greg and I only have four visits tomorrow, so I'll have way more time on my hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and check in with you in a little bit. 
sort of get back into the groove. What are you working on, babe? I'm just trying to find... Do you want to tell the vlog the really cool thing that we just got? A new van? A new van. Yeah. We got a new camper van. Mm -hmm. Soon to be camper van. Soon, soon to be camper van. As of right now, a tin box. <laughs> a tin box. A really nice tin <laughs> box. We really want to go on adventures, but we don't want to leave our cats, Tifa and Mew, at home. So we decided to go with a really nice, solid van. We're going to build it out, and that way we can go on adventures as a family. Um, but for now, I just came out here to get my coffee, and now we're going to go edit. about 11 30 and I just got back from another pet sitting visit I had one at 10 30 and now I'm home I'm making myself a like cup soup back there and I've only edited like three sentences so far because I had to get up and get going pet sitting oh wow pet sitting is definitely a very tedious job to have um so I am going to enjoy my lunch over here and get back to work on chapter 12. I ended up going back to like chapter six or something and changing a sentence or two. Do you guys ever have those moments where you're like driving in the car or you're at work or you're like doing to something totally unrelated to writing and suddenly this thing pops into your head and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to fix that. Or, oh my gosh, I just realized this awesome thing that I have to add or this thing that I have to take out. Like, you just realize suddenly with complete clarity something that you need to do. That's what happened with that one sentence in a previous chapter. I was thinking about it yesterday and I was like, you know, I really want to change that one line of dialogue to something else. So I went ahead and changed that. And now I'm going to hop back into chapter 12 and see if uh, we can get this done. I think Greg will probably be doing the next pet sitting visit so that I can stay home and work. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I just finished editing chapter 12. It went extremely well. There was like pretty much nothing to change. I just um, added a few details here and there, reworded a bit of dialogue, just like detail changes. Now that I know the character so well, it's really easy to catch when they're not speaking realistically or they're behaving in a way that's not really true to their character. And that doesn't happen very often, but every so often I have to just move things around a little bit and then it's good to go. So I just finished chapter 12. Now I'm hopping on my desktop because I have Photoshop back there and I'm going to work on some fancy formatting stuff. I want this book to look really nice. Um, one of the wonderful things about self-publishing and indie publishing is that you have so much control, you can add like unique flair to your books if you want to. So I'm going to be designing some different type of like chapter headers and illustrations for the inside of the book. Um, I really loved the illustrations in Song of the Dryad and I'm going to play around with illustrations for Pistol Daisy as well because I think it's a lot of fun to combine the story with visuals to kind of guide you as you're reading. So I'm going to work on that for now. I'm going to finish up my soup and then uh, we'll see what else I end up working on today. But editing that chapter was really easy. It's almost 12. So it took me probably half hour to do that. Not a big deal at all. Work is super clean at this point. Um, I certainly put in all the hours for draft three and then this is draft four, I believe. So. I'm gonna finish my lunch and work on doing some fun formatting stuff.
everybody! Happy Sunday! It is almost 12 o'clock. It's almost noon on Sunday and I'm just sitting down here at my desk to work on Pistol Daisy. Um, Greg and I did two pet sitting visits this morning and now there are two more today. Four pet sitting visits in total. Uh, yesterday we had nine, so yesterday was an incredibly busy, tiring day. But the worst of it, I say, I say that lightly, the worst of it is over and now it's calming down a little bit. So Greg is outside working on some stuff in the garage and I just finished playing Witcher. I spent like an hour playing Witcher and relaxing. And now I wanna work on editing another chapter of Pistol Daisy. Uh, the last I checked in with you, I was on KDP uploading um, the paperback version, which is not complete yet, but I just wanted to make sure that the formatting I was doing was going to work. And I learned something new about the bleed option versus the no bleed in a book. So I had the no bleed option turned on and it was giving me a bunch of errors because I'm including pictures in this upcoming book, Pistol Daisy. So I learned that I had to turn the bleed option on, which allowed the pictures to go all the way out to the edges of the page. So I learned something new yesterday, but I'm excited because once I turned on that option, everything was fine. The formatting looks good. KDP didn't pick up any errors. Um, it seems like they're really cracking down on low quality manuscripts and like formatting because you now have to correct errors within your manuscript before they will allow you to approve it for printing or for even ordering your own proof copy, I believe. So that's pretty cool that KDP is trying to kind of force self-publishers to step it up a little bit with their self-publishing game. And that's something that I've been thinking about a lot lately maybe a video topic in the future, I don't know. But for now, I think I'm going to make myself some lunch. I got ingredients for a vegan pizza, so I'm either going to make that or I'm gonna be, or I'm gonna eat that tonight for dinner and just eat like a, a soup or something for lunch. So I'm going to make myself some food and get started editing chapter 12 or 13. I forget. I'm either on 12 or 13. Uh, yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, bye. Tifa. What are you doing, sweet boy? Okay, so I'm on chapter 13, and this book only has 18 chapters. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Six chapters left to go, and this updated draft of Pistol Daisy will be totally finished. I am going through and adding the additional formatting, which I think looks absolutely beautiful and I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, today I'm just feeling really good about it and I definitely think that I will be able to finish it in August and then I will order myself a new proof copy. I'm still going to do another round of proofreading because this time around. I'm definitely fixing anything that I find, although at this point the draft is extremely clean, but I need to do another round of actual proofreading, like not reading the book for the story so much as reading the book for formatting, spelling, etc. Like just being super nitpicky about it. So I will do that probably maybe in September. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to get to work on chapter 13 and go make myself some food and uh, that's the plan. Okay friends, it is just after 12.30 and I just finished editing chapter 13. Uh, however, there are some things in the chapter that I want to take a few days to kind of think over. So they make sense as they are, like they're fine, but they feel a little bit disjointed to me. They feel a little bit convenient and I'm trying pretty hard, like at this point in my writing journey to not write convenience into my books. Um, that was something that I really struggled with uh, when I was writing Song of the Dryad and I had to try pretty hard to correct it. A lot of my betas pointed that out and I feel like that's happening again with Pistol Daisy. Granted, I've corrected a lot of it already. There are just a few instances that are still lingering that I want to address in this edit because that's what this is for. So 
I wrote down a few notes to myself and I'm going to go make my pizza or my soup now because I still haven't eaten and probably just think through a couple of different ideas that I'm having and uh, try to come up with a way to make these two scenes. There's two scenes in particular within chapter 13 um, that just feel too convenient to me. It's just like, oh, this will work. Oh, this will work. And I don't want it to be that way. I want everything. Like I want this story to be an intricate puzzle and all the pieces have to work together in order to give you the entire story. And right now it's almost like I'm missing a couple pieces of the puzzle. So I'm just like grabbing putty or play-doh and like forming it into that missing piece. And I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to get upset. Like I'm pretty relaxed about it, which is nice. Usually this would piss me off, especially because I feel like I've gone through this so many times, but this is just part of the process is what I'm learning. So I'm going to go eat and, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know uh, if I come up with anything. At this point, this has been an incredibly short vlog. I, uh, I want to be making more videos, but at the same time, I'm really trying to balance my time better. And with uh, my job with the publishing company and my copy editing, you know, I'm working eight to five, I'm tired in the evenings, and this is what it must feel like for all of you out there who have full-time jobs, who care for children full-time, who have, you know, other things going on in your life that makes it difficult to just write all day long. Uh, you know, I'm really learning how difficult this can be. And that's not to say that I haven't been working all these past years, I have. Um, this just feels a little bit different because pet sitting, keeps me super busy. It always has. But I have like periods of time throughout the day where I can write. But then at the same time, while I was doing pet sitting, I was just spreading myself so thin that I would force myself to write in the evenings. And now I'm not doing that. You know, like today is Sunday and I'm relaxing. And now I'm spending time on it, on my book, rather than forcing myself to work like Monday through Friday, which is what I used to do. So things are going quite a bit slower and it's just a learning process, like learning how to accept the fact that for my mental well-being, I can't be pushing myself five days a week to be working on this project. So if it takes me a little bit longer, that's okay. Uh, this has already, like my publishing uh, plan has already been pushed out probably by like six months because I wanted Pistol Daisy to be out already. Like I wanted to publish it at the beginning of August, but that's obviously not how it turned out and that's fine. So I'm being patient and, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about videos. I don't know how I went off on a tangent. So I, uh, I haven't been feeling super motivated in terms of filming videos lately, just because all of my energy has been going toward this job with the publishing company and my copy editing. My copy editing is no joke. Like I take it incredibly serious. I work on it five days a week. I set myself um, a goal for every single day so that I can make sure to finish every project by the time uh, the client and I agreed on, by the date that we agreed on. So I can't just work on it willy nilly. It's something very serious to me. So I spend hours Monday through Friday, every day now doing copy editing and then on top of that, I'm spending hours doing work for the publishing company. And I guess it just like, that's been kind of taking it out of me, like taking the creative energy out of me because I'm tired in the evenings and I don't feel as excited about filming videos. And I am in no way stopping YouTube. I'm not taking a break, nothing like that. But if you're seeing fewer videos from me, it's just because uh, I'm kind of learning how to make YouTube fit into my new schedule because things have changed around so much. So I don't know if I will be filming any other clips today because I'm pretty happy with the work I achieved this weekend. Okay guys, I wanted to hop back on here very briefly to let you know that I think Greg and I figured out the uh, problem with the whole like convenient scenes that are in chapter 13. So, and it only took us like half hour. We like had some lunch. I ran my ideas past him. He gave me his ideas back. And it's so helpful to be able to actually 
talk to somebody about book ideas you have. So I absolutely recommend it. If there's anybody in your life that will actually like give you the time of day and talk about your book with you. So what I'm going to do is write everything down in this uh, handy dandy notebook back here. And then um, I probably will not get started on it today. Um, there's some other stuff I want to do today. I want to create my new spread in my bullet journal, play some more Witcher, just enjoy the rest of my Sunday. And I feel really good about the work that I got done this weekend because I got two chapters done and a bunch of formatting that's been really fun. So that's kind of where I'm sitting. I'm going to write all of my new ideas down in this notebook so that either someday this week or maybe next weekend, I can incorporate the changes into chapter 13 they may very well go into chapter 14 as well. We'll see. But uh, that's where we're sitting. So yeah. Okay, guys. So I just wrote everything down that I want to change slash add mostly in this journal. That's where the little sticky note is. And I realize now that I'm going to have to add a lot to chapter 13. I'm pretty sure Greg and I have it figured out. And I'm excited about how this cannot or how this will not only make these two scenes less convenient and less like disconnected, but it will also uh, give more context into Daisy, other characters in the story, you know, the overall plot. So I think um, it'll certainly take a bit of time to implement these changes that I wanna make. My computer is so dirty and to um, essentially write brand new content because I'm going to have to do that now for chapter 13 slash 14. Um, so that'll probably take me a few days. I'm not sure when I'll be working on it. Maybe next weekend, maybe this week, if I have a bit of free time. We'll see, but that's kind of where I am going to leave off for today, leave off for this weekend, is that I edited chapter 12, edited chapter 13, um, have now realized that I need to add a lot to chapter 13 and I have a basic idea of how I'm going to do that. So really happy with that. I am now going to create a new weekly spread in my bullet journal. I'm not filming this one. I'm just going to turn on some music, maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos because I've kind of fallen out of the habit of watching YouTube videos. It happens. It's like a roller coaster. Sometimes I'm posting a lot of videos and watching everybody's content and then other times I'm just not really on YouTube very much in general, neither posting content nor watching other people's content. So I might watch some videos, do some bullet journaling, and then uh, enjoy the rest of my Sunday. So that's that. I feel like I've wrapped up this vlog like three times now. I can tell that I'm rusty, that I haven't done this in a few weeks just because it feels um, disjointed, just like chapter 13. So there's that. And uh, okay, guys. This is probably going to be the last time I say thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye everybody.